Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the topic of normal curves and trebuchet inequality. So first topic, normal curve or normal distribution. Normal curve or normal distribution. It's a type of very special data distribution, right? So it's a distribution of data. Distribution of data. And then, as you can see from here, right? This is a uh, graph of normal distribution. The x axis, there are values, and then the y axis are the frequencies. So, what it means is that there are this high amount of um, number of data points are this value and then um, this amount of data points are this value right so in this graph i intentionally not writing uh, exact numbers on them but using mu and sigma for the purpose uh, we'll see later okay so what's special about normal distribution is that the shape it looks like a bell shape so it's a bell shape data distribution and then there are more data in the middle which is at the mean right so a lot more data that's concentrated in the mean and less data that are at the tails right as you can see from the height you know there's a lot more data in the middle and less data at the two tails and then right in the middle is the mean of this data set or in this case i assume that we know the population mean and we know the population's standard deviation right so which means that we know the whole population data set we are going to use the assumption throughout this video okay very good so let's go ahead and start talking about this normal distribution at this point, what do you need to know is that rule of thumb for normal distribution, right? So what's one thing that's um, very special about this normal distribution is that, uh, let me go ahead and write down this mu means the population mean and sigma right sigma 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 are a population standard deviation okay very good okay so now we are interested in the question is let's say how much of your data points are say in this range here or how much data points are in this range here, right? Are we able to use uh, just mean and the standard deviation to describe the um, proportions of the data within a certain range? And then the answer is yes. And then that's what we call the rule of thumb for normal distribution. What it means is um, this. So mu being the population mean in the middle, right? So it's in the middle, mu. Yeah. And then the left hand side, let's say, I'm gonna mu minus one standard deviation, you know, to the left side and then to the right side, I'm gonna say mu plus one standard deviation, you know? So this range is this range we're looking here, right? You know, I'm not, put, I'm not putting the exact number for the value here because this applies to all the means, like all the sets of mean and standard deviation, right? Okay, cool. So the rule of thumb says that this range covers 68% of the data point. What it means is that the mean in the middle 
one standard deviation less, one standard deviation more. This range is going to cover 68% of the data point, you know, the whole population or the whole sample, you know. So this concept applies to um, both is that 68% of the data points are going to be within this range if you have a normal distribution um, curve or data. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. Okay, next, let's expand the range more. So, uh, yeah, so mu plus uh, two uh, standard deviation yeah. in the middle, and mu plus three standard deviation here. Oh no, two, sorry, sorry. Uh, Ooh, no, yeah. So it should be minus, and here should be plus two. Plus two standard deviation here, right? So in this case, we'll be looking at so minus two SD, plus two SD. So we'll be looking at this bigger range here. And then the rule of thumb says that when you minus two standard deviation, plus two standard deviation, this gonna covers 95% of the data point. Okay, very good. And then let's do one more, right? One more. Mu minus three, situation mu, and then mu oops. And mu plus three standard deviation. And then the rule of thumb tells you that this range, right, it's a lot bigger range here, is gonna cover 99.7% of data. What it means is that if you can get the range from three standard deviation to uh, three standard deviation less from the mean and three standard deviation above the mean, you pretty much cover all your data points, right? Because that's by uh, the rule of thumb, it's 99.7% of the data point. Okay, so at this point, I show you um, how does a normal distribution look like, and then. Um, the rule of thumb, right? You're able to uh, tell how much of the data point you get, uh, you're covering by looking at how many standard deviation away from the mean. Okay, very good. Next, next, I want to answer the question: What if we don't know the distribution? You know, before here, we're assuming that we know the normal distribution, but what if we don't know the distribution? You know or whether it's not a normal distribution, are we able to answer the same question here, right? The answer is yes. The answer um, relies on the concept of Sheffy Chef's inequality. So, Sheffy Chef here. Okay, so we're gonna say, if you don't know distribution or not normal, okay? So in this case, um, we will apply the concept of Chevy Chef. Chef inequality, okay, Chevy Chef inequality. So let me state what it says first, you know? So the inequality says proportion of data within k standard deviation from mean is greater than or equal to one minus one over k squared. Okay, so what it means here is that if you tell me k, right, k means how many standard deviation you want from the mean. If you tell me k, I will be able to tell you the proportion of data you're covering with k standard deviation away from the mean is greater than one minus one over k squared, right? So the data you're covering is at least this much if you give me the value of k. Okay, cool. Let me quickly do 
an example to cover this concept here. So, a quick example. Imagine we're interested in um, k equals to 2 standard deviation away from the mean. So, we're interested in k equals to 2 standard deviation, and we are assuming that we don't know the distribution. Don't know distribution, okay? So, if we don't know the distribution and we want the k to be two standard deviation, and how much of the data can we cover, you know, within this two standard deviation from the mean? Let's apply the formula: one minus one over k squared, which is two squared in this case, equals to one minus one four. That's going to give us one minus zero point two five equals to 0 0.75, equals to 75%. Okay, let's complete this sentence here. We get 75% and applying this uh, concept here, the conclusion is at least, right, at least 75% of the data you have must lie within two standard deviation from the mean, okay? And that's just the uh, Trebuchet's inequality, right? It gives you a chance to know how much of the data um, is within the range that you're interested in, okay? Just a quick conclusion. If you have a normal distribution, then you're gonna just use the rule of thumbs. And then if you have a non-normal or a distribution that you don't know, you know, then, you'll be able to just use the Chebyshev's inequality and give an approximate of how much data is within the range of your interest. Okay? And this concludes this video, and I'll see you in next video. Thank you for watching.